what we're doing while we are quarantined. All kinds of stuff back here. We are starting to get a little bit antsy. Favorite of all, and that is... Yeah, Mike's over there cleaning. Good morning, guys. <laughs> this is day three, whoops, day three of our quarantine for the <laughs> pandemic. And Mike just can't stop cleaning. <laughs> so we are the kind of people that are going to make an opportunity out of a disaster. So I wouldn't necessarily call this a disaster as much I was, as I would call it the um, opportunity to do good things. So this is the deal. We wanted to share with you guys what we're doing while we are quarantined and self-quarantined, I guess you would say, over the next however long we're gonna be self-quarantined for. I do know that the kids, sorry. I do know that the kids have, um, school's been canceled for two weeks, so at least. So I know that we're gonna be hanging out for at least two weeks, maybe here, maybe somewhere else. But while we're here, we thought we would take advantage of the time to do some things that um, around the house that have been sort of, we've been, kind of putting off for a little bit of time. So I would like to share with you the top five things that we are doing to survive this coronavirus pandemic quarantine. The very top number one priority of things that we're gonna try to at least get started during our quarantine is organizing and decluttering our closet. All right, you guys, this is what our closet looks like. It is quite a mess. We have a house that's not so big, it's kind of teeny actually, and we transformed the attic into a bathroom, master bedroom, and closet. And this is what the closet ended up being. So it's kind of diagonal, it's got a diagonal um, uh, ceiling, and then like the floor area. But anyway, that's no excuse for why this closet is such a mess. So while we are quarantined, our goal is to remove every single thing. And it's like, there's things back there. Like you can't even see, like, look at, look at, there's like all kinds of stuff back there. So we've used every inch of this closet, but we're gonna go through, we're going to take everything out of the closet, and then we're going to declutter and throw away things that need to be thrown away and then donate things that need to be donated and then repurpose things that need to be repurposed and so on and so forth. And then of course I have a lot of memories so I'm a memory person. Like it would be hard for me to throw all those away. Those are some of my races and that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, that's what we're gonna do. And the best part about this whole project is that we ordered a new modular closet system, I guess. We ordered an amazing system. It's, it was the coolest website. I've always been a little bit hesitant to um, try to get someone in to do my closet because the space is such a weird space. But I was able to put the space in the um, in the website and then they designed a closet for me. And now they're sending us all the pieces, parts, and it should be here. So we ordered that a while ago. So I'm so excited, not a while ago, a few weeks ago, but anyway, but I'm so excited to get it in and be able to use this time, like what a bonus, to um, put together our new closet. So stay tuned, you guys. In this particular video, I'm not going to um, show you like how we do the closet and the end of it because it's gonna take a few days and this video is gonna go up before then. But stay tuned on our channel to see how we take this closet and transform it through our modular closet system and make it beautiful. I'm so excited, I can't even stand it. This has been on my list for oh, about 15 years, yay! So now we're doing it. Another idea we have while we're being quarantined is to transform this wall. So basically we have this, what we call the wine wall. We've had it for years now. And it's kind of jumped the shark, if you know what I mean. It's kind of like, I'm kind of over it now. Let me show you what it looks like. See, there's our kitchen that we just painted the cabinets and we've been doing some work. We're probably gonna switch out the appliances. We're kind of trying to do a new kitchen. The next step is to build built-ins here. But the first thing I need to do is I need to transform this wall. I wanna take all of these wine holders off. Then I need to fill all the holes because there, there's two screws in each one of these wine racks. And then I'm going to paint the whole wall the same white as those cabinets so then when we put the built-ins in when you look behind the shelves of the built-ins you'll see the white so you guys can do the same thing so while you're quarantined pick a wall in your bedroom or in your dining room or in your family room that you think might need a transformation maybe a new coat of paint maybe um maybe do like 
a picture wall. Those Go through those pictures that you've been wanting to hang up and frame for a long time now and use this time to do that. You can totally be productive while you're quarantined. And I'm not gonna show you again the end of this because this is gonna take some time, but this is definitely a project I'm starting today. So again, stay tuned, watch It's the Donnelly's and you'll see me build this, the built-ins and take down all these wine racks and everything. I'm so excited and it's gonna be a really fun project and good luck to you on your project. All right, the third thing that we're gonna do that I hesitate to do all the time, but I think it is such a good idea. I. I am a donator, like we talked about um, the closet and decluttering and everything. I'm pretty good with donating things. Actually, I'm very good at that and consigning things, but I'm not good at selling things online. Generally, clothes are the easiest things to like take to the consignment shop and all that stuff. But I know that I have things around the house that I could sell to get rid of and declutter and that kind of thing. One of those things is the wine racks, for example, from our wall. So I'm gonna get online, I'm gonna post the wine racks and try to sell them. I'm also gonna go through and go through like our like our storage area of things that we have that we don't need anymore that maybe somebody else could use and go through and donate or sell things online. So basically declutter and get rid of all the extra baggage that we're hanging on to. That's definitely a great project to do, especially when you have your family home and the kids are home from school. You can have every single one of them go through each of their bedrooms and say, give me five items that you don't need anymore. So you can make money or help somebody and declutter your house at the same time. So that is another awesome idea to do while you're quarantined over the next few weeks. And I think the fourth and one of the most important things that you could do while you're quarantined or locked down during this coronavirus scare is to get out and get some fresh air. And that might mean going and, and exercise. That might mean going for a walk. That might mean going for a run. It might mean playing basketball outside. Um, just something to get out and keep yourself healthy because one of the best things that you can do to combat any type of illness is to, um, I'm not a doctor, but I'm just saying, is to increase your immune system and stay healthy. And part of staying healthy is exercising. Also getting out and exercising will help you combat any type of cabin fever you might be feeling after being locked up in your house for 14 days or <laughs> however long you've been in your house. I can tell you that we are starting to get a little bit antsy in the house. Um, we have been letting the kids play in smaller groups with their friends. Um, but that, I, I hope that doesn't come to an end, but um, it might, we might actually get in the car and drive to Florida <laughs> and quarantine ourselves down there. I feel like there's no difference really between being in our house here or our house in Florida, um, except for the house in Florida has sun and beach and a pool. <laughs> So anyway, I'm gonna go out and do a run. I highly recommend you do the same. Get out, get some fresh air. Do whatever your activity level will let you do. Um, run, bike, walk, um, skip. It's good for your heart, it's good for your soul, and it's good for your health. Good luck. All right, you guys, I'm back from my workout. You can tell my hair is a little bit workouty. It was fantastic. It made me feel so much better, and I guarantee it will for you too, because when you get that adrenaline running and everything, especially if you've been sitting around, laying around, cooped up in your house, get out, get some exercise. It makes you feel so much better. We are gonna get through this. 14 days of quarantine, nah, I wouldn't say 14 days of quarantine, just 14 days of no school <laughs> is what we're dealing with. <laughs> Anywho, who knows what's gonna come down the pike, but those are some um, four ideas. Our fifth idea of what you can do during your coronavirus quarantine time is my favorite of all, and that is binge watch It's Donnelly. Certainly, <laughs> you like that, Mike? We have about 1,500 videos out there that if you go end to end, should take about 14 days. <laughs> Comment below which is your favorite It's the Donnelly's video. We've got awesome playlists. We have playlists of vacations. We have playlists of cruises. We have playlists of injuries. <laughs> we have all kinds of different playlists. You guys can take the time and watch. Oh, thank you, Michael, for the light. And so thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you are um, making the most of your time during this corona, uh, coronavirus situation. What'd you say? Coronacation. Cron Coronacation, as Ryan calls it. And a huge, huge shout out to all of those public officials and public health officials, people who are helping everybody stay safe and um, 
and secure during this time. It's the nurses and the doctors and the policemen and the firefighters and everybody. Um, and, and you guys actually as neighbors looking on each other and making sure that your families are safe and that your neighbors are safe because we are definitely all in this one together. And by, um, by keeping yourself away and in small groups and that kind of thing, we're gonna totally eradicate um, this virus. At least that's what the goal is, right? So, but while you do, while you are staying away and and um, being with your family and staying at home, if you're not working outside the house, please um, take these ideas and we hope that you make your time productive. So thank you so much for watching. We totally enjoy sharing our time with you and we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Comment below what you guys are doing to pass the time during our what we're calling coronation. All right, thanks you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.